Hey guys, we're here at Moffett Field in Mountain View, California, checking out the Solar Impulse 2 solar-powered airplane. I'm here with pilot Andre Borschberg. He's been piloting this thing all over the world. So tell us about the plane. You guys have just landed from Hawaii. Tell us about your journey so far. We fly around the world with an airplane powered by solar energy only. And if you fly with the sun, you need an airplane which is extremely energy efficient to be able to fly through the night. And to make it efficient, uh, we had to build an airplane very big. It's bigger than a 747 with the weight of a car. And this was the, the challenge. The aviation industry told us 13 years ago it was impossible. Yeah. We decided to build it ourselves, and that's the result. What are some of the challenges you guys have run into during your trip so far? I understand the batteries get overheated. What other kinds of challenges have you guys run into? You have to realize it's an experimental airplane, so you are discovering what you are doing. You know, when you board the airplane, you have to be ready for the unknown. We had surprises. Uh, I had the major equipment not functioning after departure. Engineers wanted me to come back. That was the first time that the weather window was improving over the Pacific Ocean, and I decided to continue. But big emotions, big turmoil in the team itself. Some people threatening to resign. I mean, it was really difficult. But you know, through phone conference and 20,000 feeds, uh, we could agree that, uh, that everybody was keeping the support on the project and make it feasible and it happened to be successful afterwards. Every leg is a challenge because every leg you discover something else, the weather can be different. Uh, it's an airplane which is completely, uh, completely different to what has been designed, so it's, it's a constant learning process. But so far, I think what we can say is that the technology we have here, which is solar cells, which is electric motors, which is batteries, uh, we function in the same way that a grid functions on the ground. I mean, if communities want to use renewable energy, they will do exactly the same that what we do in this airplane. And these technologies are very reliable. So it's a demonstration here of what we can do on the ground in our world, in our cities, in our communities. Can you tell us a little bit about the battery technology that you're using in the plane? Battery we use are uh, lithium polymer batteries, so quite similar to what you have in computers, what you have in the Tesla cars, for example. I think we push them a little bit further because weight is extremely important, so we made them lighter. But at the end, these are similar uh, technologies that we can use on the ground. What is the top speed of the airplane at this point? The top speed is modest. Uh, it's about 40 to 50 miles, but the big advantage is that you don't have to go down to refuel. Now, but let's realize we are at the time of the pioneers. Uh, you know, when the Wright brothers or Charles Lindbergh flew, they were alone. They flew slowly. And if you realize that from the first flight of the Wright brothers, it took 66 years to go on the moon, this was the trigger moment to make the further development happening. So this is a first step in the direction of electric aviation, of uh, potentially maybe green aviation, or aviation using uh, less or no, uh, or no CO2. Uh, so it will take time to see this in transport airplane, but you need a first step.